Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get into it. Okay, so I did the I did the quest for the Lucky Clover for this stable. Is there another stable somewhere around here? Did I do that one? The new Serene stable? I don't think I did, actually. Hold on, maybe we can just quickly... You know, maybe we can just quickly fast travel there and, uh... And see if we can find, uh, Pen around. Ah, here we go, perfect. How's it going, Pen? Careful there, partner. You went and scared all the little birds away. You go storming around like that and it won't just be birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. I don't want to say this too loud and start a panic, but... Rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda, that she's been seen riding some mysterious beast. It's said to be a mountain of a beast, too. One with huge, brutal tusks. My little reporters had never seen something so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. But if this terrifying monster exists, then the implications make this a very, very huge story. You know, there were guests at this stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that there's been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. If we want to learn more, we should dive beak first in this stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. We just need to peck away at this until we figure out if it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. The Beast and the Princess. Okay. Alright, well I guess I just, uh, talked to some people around the stable. Oh, okay, I guess this guy's a good place to start. A legendary weapon, you say? Anya, give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. But that rumored beast you're after, that's what's just a story. No, no. Go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We would have nothing to fear of monsters. And what if this weapon is legendarily brittle and useless, hmm? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. Okay, is this gonna be one that like spans all the different stables around Hyrule? Oh. <laughs> I think I found the legendary beast. Look at his fearsome fluffiness. <laughs> Hello, doggy. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, come on. Come on, Nintendo. Why don't you give us the option to... Oh. Oh, I think this dog likes me. All right. But anyway, Nintendo, why don't you give us the option to pet the dogs? Come on. I'll keep my ears open for any... Any, uh, whisperings of the rumored beast, but for now, I think we'll go with... M I think we'll try and track down some more sure things. Because, yeah, it's sounding like this whole rumored beast thing is going to be, like, some big, like, overarching, uh, overarching quest for the whole, uh, for all these stable missions. Pen? Are you down here? Oh, okay, well, there, there's a Rito here, but that's not Pen. Pen? Oh, there you are. <laughs> in the, in the pen, ironically enough. <laughs> Ah, perfect. He smells a story. All right, what you got, partner? Hmm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of half-eaten Hylian pine cones. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I am chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats? I'll look for more clues. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I'd given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day, they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Recipe? Yeah, 
Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in a whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goats spit up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that? Did they... did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? So does that mean I just have to search around the area for a... for a bottle? Oh wait, maybe I... maybe I investigate the pine cone. Never mind, they just gave me a pine cone, okay. <laughs> Do you have any uh, any more information there, Chork? She shared a recipe a while back, never would have expected her to develop healthy feed, yeah. Yeah, Chork's just saying the exact same thing. So, somewhere in this area is just a bottle. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, but there's a trail of pine cones! Okay, here we go, I think we have our lead. Oh, there we go, we found the goats! And there's the recipe, perfect. Whoa, those are my white goats! So this is where they ran off to. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Wait! Oh, no! Grind the pine cones into a powder! I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cones whole? I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats. And the recipe. We're gonna head back to the stable. You take care. Hey! Partner! I saw everything, partner. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know? I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Thank you very much, Pen. Oh, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little something extra in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Ooh, nice, an extra 20 rupees. All right, I'm gonna hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Soar long! I wonder how many of these stories I need to track down. I assume it's just like there's one story per stable. Although I don't know, because again, there's that rumored beast story, which might be like... Uh, which might be spread around a whole bunch of stables. I can only assume that like each region of Hyrule has its own stable, so... Uh, maybe I should, you know what, maybe I should start making my way to uh, like down to Gerudo. And then, like, as I'm making my way there, I can maybe run into a few more stables along the road. Uh, speaking of stable, is this mini stable at Lookout Landing done yet? <laughs> because I remember, I think it was like episode three or something, or very early on in the series, where I wanted to register a horse so badly, but the only stable in the area was this one, so I had to ride bareback for like, <laughs> for like, a solid three episodes, and then at one point, 
the horse just up and vanished after I came out of a after I came out of a shrine. So yeah, let me quickly check here. Okay, it looks like that the it looks like that the mini stable is done now because it has an actual roof over it. But before that, let's quickly let's quickly upgrade ourselves. All right, there we go. Oh, what the? <laughs> hey, little guy. <laughs> oh, it's Slurgo. Okay. Wow, long way from Elden, I gotta say. Anyway, can I talk to you now to actually get my horse over here? Carson, when do you think the stable will be ready? Oh, are you serious? It's still not ready? It'll still be a while yet. I need to get the last of the roof planks correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. Well, until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. Really? R really? Your mini stable is stopped by the- by one missing plank? Oh my goodness, you guys are the least efficient carpenters I've ever seen! Frickin' A, it's even right here. Okay, hold on, let me frickin'- I'm a swordsman, so I shouldn't be doing this, but let me frickin' do my job for- your job for you real quick. Dag nabbit. <laughs> See? Easy as that! Well, look at that! It fits perfectly! Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it. How on earth did you become a carpenter, sir, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking, son and done. <sighs> okay, what kind of finishing touches are you gonna add? Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes, feeling pumped. Gotta get this done in one fell swoop. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, maybe I spoke too soon. That sounded like uh, that sounded like some kind of like final battle in a construction-themed shonen anime or something. Well, well, this is a fine-looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering your Hudson Constructions number one. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. So yeah, let's talk to Lester here, get Luna, and uh, head off. Oh, Spot. Where did you get off to? Spot? Well, look who it is. I sure can't thank you enough for helping our mini stable come together. Heard me talking to myself, did you? Spot is the name of my beloved horse, you see. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. He's beautiful. Just one look at his silky, gentle beige coat, and you'd know it was him. Course, you'd recognize his unique gray dappling, too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. A horse like him? I bet you he's someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. Just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Spotting spot. Okay, well, we'll keep our eyes open for him, Lester. For now, can you get my horse? Oh, perfect, nice, I get a stable point for talking to him, too. Oh, wait. Have you been to Woodland Stable? I hear there's a great fairy fountain right nearby. Oh, wait, I've discovered that, haven't I? Yeah, if you leave out of Lookout Landing's east gate, you'll find it on the way to Elden. Oh, okay. I have been to... is this the woodland? No, that's wetland. Woodland? Nope. Foothill. Huh. You know, I don't think I have actually been to the woodland stable. You know what? Maybe we'll quickly try and find woodland stable, because finding a great fairy fountain would be very handy. I mean, this episode is just kind of turning into random odds and ends, so we might as well finish it off by, you know, finding something cool. And then as soon as we find that uh, great fairy fountain, then we'll head to, uh, then we'll head to Gerudo. Yeah, I think the woodland stable was mentioned already. I think it was actually before I- Jeez Louise! I, I think it was actually mentioned already before, um, before I, uh, like, arrived in, uh, Zora's domain. So, frickin' A. So it was, uh, so I actually- <laughs> So it's actually been a while. I think I actually started searching for it and then just- <laughs> went the wrong way and uh, ended up in Zora's domain. We found it. All right. Well, let's quickly go ahead and get our uh, get our pony point because I think we only need the one more for another reward. Heck yeah! There we go. 
You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? For five points, you get the horse god fabric. All right, cool. Tough fabric bearing a design of the horse god Melania. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Yeah, they, I do have like the Lucky Gazette fabric too. How do I... Oh yeah, the dye shop in Hateno Village. There we go. Thank you very much, Kish. Wait, so if I get two more, I can use the Melania bed, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god Melania. What the heck kind of prophecies are they referring to? <laughs> Probably where I can find like just some really good horses or something. All right, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here one awful night, some time after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful! The whole thing! That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy, that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments' performances. Or us! At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reason the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And the one who caused all this was a blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm, could that have been... Oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. My reporter's instincts are calling out. Could the mysterious woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the Great Fairy first. Great Fairy? Ha! Huh. Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. Look way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's spouting that pretty stuff? That's right. That right there is the flower bud where the Great Fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she's moved near the stable recently. A Great Fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. We mustn't forget that the Great Fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Okay, so all I need to do is add a wheel to Breezer and... Oh, make that two wheels to Breezer and then, uh... Saddle it up to... Saddle it up to Luna. Am I able to... <laughs> okay, no. No. <laughs> I was about to say, am I able to grab the wheels from this guy? But that's uh, not happening. The heck? What is that thing? Hold on, I'll look for wheel... I, I, I have some... I have some serious issues with like staying on track here. <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I get on one quest, I immediately saw see another like weird thing off in the distance. <laughs> but don't worry, as soon as I figure out what the heck's going on with this very colorful balloon or whatever it is, I'll find a wheel for Breezer. Oh wait, is this the Oh, it's this guy! Hey! You there, traveler! Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother! Huh? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? It's no use. Colton? Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd! You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that.
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Frick. I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Gaw, but I didn't think it would be so high up on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. All right, well, as long as I'm here, I guess. Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Gah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur, Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts, and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bauble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble around like that? So nimbly bimbly. Yeah! I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Blah. I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get a hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Here you go. Th -th 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 That's a bubble gem! Colton, is that the real thing? That perfect shape and that faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it! Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Oh, <laughs> a bokoblin mask. Kilton's handmade bokoblin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Equip it to blend in with bokoblins. <laughs> nice. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a bokoblin. So much so that even a bokoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Oh. I feel like something of that shape would really hurt going down. I feel like that's like swallowing a shuriken whole. Gwa? My body, it isn't changing. But, but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. Yeah, probably all the lacerations to your esophagus. <laughs> it can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. And that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Kilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we know, we now know what the bubble gems are for. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. But dear Traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. 
And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. I'll keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. All right, bye. Okay, well, that was something. <laughs> anyway, after that little, after that little side quest, let's head back and uh, and let's head back and find the great fairy. You know, all I need to do is find myself a couple of wheels, and we'll be good to go. Oh. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just quickly fish the, uh, fix this uh, card up for them, huh? And there we go. Good as new. What are you thinking, partner? The members of the troop mentioned a woman with blonde hair. I think it might be Princess Zelda. Oh. We should check in with the Great Fairy and find out what she saw. But if she won't show herself... Hmm. Maybe we can get her to come out if we bring the musicians to her somehow. Their wagon is busted, though. What do we do? I'll take you. I can't believe it! Violin! He's made some sort of change to Breeza! We may be able to be on our way now! Quick! Let's get in! We wouldn't want to be left behind! Alright, there we go. We're all set. Alright. We are here. Thank you. We can take it from here. Alright, Mastro. Lead us into the performance. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the Great Fairy. Bravo! Bravo! Oh jeez, they still make that freaky sound when they open when the uh, bud opens up. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Aha! <laughs> okay, that okay, that sounded exactly like Mario. <laughs> Behold, violin, the great fairy graces us with her presence. Truly divine. Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. Ah, uh, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So, she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've gotta take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. We've worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go ahead and add this to your nest egg, partner. Nice. Do I get another bonus? Hey, there we go. And just one other thing. Tracy sent along a bonus for all our hard work. Oh, hey, I got one of the frog outfits. Nice. <laughs> a good sleeve for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingertips acts as suction cups, giving good grip on wet, slippery surfaces. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty rare gear that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights, partner. Okay, I'm gonna take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. So long! There we go! We're making progress, baby! Mastro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. Violin! That wasn't it at all! Why, you moved the heart of the Great Fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other Great Fairies also are hiding away in their buds. I bet if you, I mean, we, play music for them, that'd cheer them up too. A brilliant idea! And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop! The Stable Trotters! Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. 
Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. All right. I can't help but feel that Violin was a little bit, uh, pigeonholed into their career with their name. <laughs> I was about to return to my spring and its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nakluda. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Uh, enhance away. All right, you know what, for now, let's uh, enhance the, the, uh, the pants, because I seem to be getting, in terms of, like, special gear, I seem to be getting a lot of, like, chest plates and hats, so I'm probably gonna have these pants for a while, so let's mm. enhance them. There we go! Beautiful! All done. Amazing, very fine work, I must say. A resourceful hero like you surely wants to unlock even greater potential, yes? Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. It seems my little sisters are still secluding themselves in their flower buds in distress. If you see a giant flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, Please, play lovely music for them, too. My little sister Kotera said she was going to a stable near the dueling peaks in Nakluda to the south. Well then, I'm headed home. <laughs> Goodbye! Alright, so that actually has like a... That actually has like a double benefit to me, because not only... Do, uh, can I find more, uh, more great fairies and get, you know, more, uh... Enhancements to my clothing... But it also leads me to uh, other stables, since they, uh, since the great fairy there mentioned specifically that her sisters were hanging out near stables. So yeah, this is going quite well. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya.